All right, we didn't miss any now, so we're not gonna miss any during the game, right? Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, let's jump in. What's up, YouTube fam? Robbie C here. Today, we are on day two of Vlogmas. That's right, 25 videos, 25 days, and we are so pumped to give you, really, episode one and a half of the Level Up series. In this series, we're gonna be talking about these five focus areas to see how we can improve our game overall and find that consistency to truly become great players. Today, we're gonna talk about the hot topic of putting, and my coach, Mike Strauss, has a fantastic game that we can each play to help improve our game and our confidence and our putting event. It, it just helps everything. So I'm gonna get out of the way. Let's head over to Mike's instruction to see how this game works. I wanted to share with you a drill that I came up with that helps me practice on 50 to 70 foot putts, practice the mechanics of what it takes to get it there, but also getting comfortable of running at it and not giving away the hole. Well, one of the courses that's by me, I noticed that from the wheel stop here to basket 18 is 50 feet. And each one of these goes in five foot increments. So we go 55, 60, 65 and 70 feet. So what I do is, and I, sometimes I use three discs, sometimes I use five, 10. I putt all three from starting at 50 feet. If I make them, I get two points. If I miss, when I go down there, I have to pick all the other discs up and go to the longest, whatever disc landed the furthest away and I have to make them all. Any of them that I miss, I take off two points. We'll start right now at, at 50 feet and I'll show you how, how I practice. Okay, getting warmed up. So now when we go down there, we're gonna find out which one is the furthest away. I pick the other ones up and I putt from there. And this really gives me a good feeling of confidence that I know that I can start running at these at these putts. It becomes a tool in my bag that gives me the, the, the confidence that I can go at it and give myself a legitimate chance, but again, not give away the hole. So now here, I'll just simple push putts in. So I got two points on the first one. Now let's go to 55 feet. A Little bit uphill. Another reason I happen to like this layout is because the ground slopes downhill. So it makes these comeback putts a little bit more challenging. And now I am back to even took two points off because I missed. It puts a lot more pressure on the comeback putts when you know that one miss from down here takes away a make from over there. It can get in your head, right? Because you're not gonna make a lot of these, but you're gonna have a lot of these to actually putt. Getting a little longer, wind is picking up. I still wanna go at it. This is not a drill for me to lay up. The practice is being able to, to go at it. So in these conditions, really embrace it and just try. If you If you end up messing up, this is a good place to do it. One time. All right, got one back. Coming up with these games is definitely beneficial because you're putting pressure on yourself and you're trying to put yourself into tournament situations, competitive round situations. I want to take a quick moment from the holiday cheer and talk about today's video sponsor, Disc Dot. The dot is easily detached and movable on your basket so that you can focus on a variety of putts. Plus they even have Robbie C Dots now. So to grab yours, head over to disc.usa.com and use code RCDiscGolf at checkout. With all that said, let's see how I can do at Mike's game. So here we are at 50 feet, the first stage of the game, and I'm trying to give these a solid run, and I realized I was definitely lacking in the power department, so I'm saying here that I wasn't necessarily happy that I didn't make any, but also my comebackers weren't far at all. Stepping up to the 55 foot range, I still felt good about trying to hit it from a no step and I'm just landing it short of the basket and finding myself a little frustrated overall that I'm not necessarily running it, but not really getting the chance either. You can see this frustration building and I'm starting to step into it and my mechanics are breaking down. So on this last one, I just get super frustrated. I launch it right over the basket and now I'm left with a long comebacker, which honestly, I wasn't too upset about because I was actually going to be testing myself and working on my putts. So I'm calming down for these 25 footers because these aren't necessarily gimmies. Thankfully, we're able to put all three in and we're off to the next stage at 65 feet. 
I am once again trying to launch these and I feel like it's good coming out of my hand and I really am trying to make these putts, but I'm just leaving them a little short and not giving myself the full power needed to really run it every time. On this last time, that frustration is there. Once again, the mechanics are breaking down. I have no smooth to my throw whatsoever. And I really get a hold of that last one, launch it high and leave ourselves with another long comebacker to close things out. Honestly, I don't know if I should be proud of that or ashamed by that. Not only did I not make the putts, but I barely gave them a chance to go in because most of them ended up either short or just long of the basket. All in all, I don't really feel upset because I didn't give away the hole, but I also am upset that I didn't make any of them. So I'm just a bit of a mess. Mike, let us know in the comments below. Are you proud of this, upset by this? Yeah, I don't know. How do you guys think you fared during this game? I hope that you can beat zero. All that to say, thank you for tuning in and watching day two of Logmas. Hope you have have an incredible day and we'll see you tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with the bird. Well, that drill was a bummer. Just got off the phone with Mike because I was pretty bummed out and we have officially decided that until I can get a putt to go that far consistently with control, I need to start throwing a baby throw at it. Problem is I don't know how to throw the baby throw that well. So looks like we have our next level up video done. Let's go talk about upshots.